All right, patient 069, Ryan Higa. Time is 8.45 a.m. Introductory session begins now. All right, Ryan, why don't we start off by you telling me why are you here? Okay. Um. um. <sighs> okay, before we jump inside the mind of Ryan Higa, which is a roller coaster. Oh. What the hell was that? Anyway, um, like I was saying, we are going inside the mind of Ryan Higa, and let me tell you, it is quite the roller coaster. Okay, seriously, is that really necessary? Because, like, this is gonna be really long if we have to cut to a visual every single time I say the word roller coaster. <sighs> Fine, you know what? I'm just not gonna say it. We are going inside the mind of Ryan Higa, and it is going to be a. You, what, you know what it's gonna be. So buckle up. Prepare yourselves because this documentary is going to be really freaking stupid. Oh, okay, and now you guys don't cut to anything. Now that I'm done talking, you don't cut to anything. Okay, yeah, well, we ran out of nice visuals of stupid things to cut to, so all of a sudden you're just gonna leave it on me. Okay, okay, whoever's editing this, you are just a little bit. And I think we're all set. You guys good? Yep. Camera A rolling. Camera B rolling. That's B. Mm. Oh, you all right? I'm you need good. a napkin no. or anything? Nope. Okay. <clears throat> um, okay. Uh, why don't you just uh, introduce yourself and just say who you are, what you do, and why you're here? To which camera? Uh, just th this one right here. Camera A. A is it? Yeah. Okay. Great. <laughs> Hello, my name is Matthew J. Williams. I am a clinical psychologist, and I am here to assist in the evaluation of... of you? No, uh, you're coming with me to evaluate Ryan Higa. Okay. Yeah. And that's not you in this case? No, I'm Rain Hawson, remember? <laughs> we just met. I'm like, sorry, can we stop for a second? I don't just understand how this is going to possibly work if I'm evaluating two... I mean, I, sh I sent you the chain documentaries to, to watch, right? That's what we're No, doing. no, I watched those, but those are yeah. still... Like, he's one person, but you're Rain and Ryan? I'm... No, I'm just Rain... Look, we're just going to... Can we just keep this moving? Because uh, there's going to be a lot of stuff okay. that we have to get yeah. through, and <clears> I really don't want it to drag. The one thing Shane's actually really good at is keeping his videos nice and short. So... Okay. All right. <laughs> I'm psyched. <laughs> I'm a psychologist, so. Good, um, okay. So it is uh, day two, and don't, don't let the fact that we're wearing the same clothes as yesterday throw you off, uh, we're just a little stink. Um, we are currently heading over to Ryan's house, um, but since we have a little bit of a drive, uh, what we're gonna do is call one of his closest friends and kind of do an interview, I guess, kind of like, you know, what Shane does, and then, um, just to get a better idea of, you know, what we're really dealing with here, so. And, okay, here we go, it is ringing. Okay. Hello. Hey, is this, uh, is this Regina? Speaking, I am her. Oh, well, first off, thank you so much for taking the time to talk with us. What? I was just saying, uh, thank you so much for taking the time to do this with us. What are you talking about? I didn't take anything. Nope. We're just saying thank you for taking the yeah, time. Gross! Who the hell is that guy? I don't want to talk to you. Turn me the other way. There we go. Much better. Sick. Uh, now what were you saying? Uh, well, we're just calling because um, we know that you're really close to Ryan Higa and we want to know a little bit about him. So you are close to him. Is, is that correct? Uh, no, that's not. It, it's not correct. So you're not, you're not close to him. Uh, no, he lives all the way at his house. I don't live in his house. I can form my own house. What are you trying to say, you stack set? What I'm saying is you, I mean, you do know things about him though, right? Duh. Like things that no one else knows? I know lots of things about him that nobody knows, but they're all secrets. They're secrets. Are there a a anything that you can tell us that nobody knows then? Yeah, all his secrets. Okay, uh, like what exactly? Um, let me think. Think a little bit. Oh, I know. I got a good one. Go ahead. 
So this one time we were all at a shoot and Ryan was sitting in this chair and I was right behind him because I was counting all the gross white hairs he was starting to get and nobody knows this but then he put up his phone and I could totally see his phone screen and I saw that when he actually opens his phone his passcode is actually 169 No, 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 Regina, we can't, that's not the kind of secrets we're looking for. We can't share that in our documentary. Why not? Nobody knows it. It's a good one. I'm sure it is a great secret but maybe something a little less private than that. Oh, okay. Well, Nobody knows this one, but ever since Ryan moved to his new house, everything changed. Everything changed? What, what do you mean by that exactly? Well, there's just so many different things, like his furniture and the paintings on the wall, and I can tell you right now that the carpets are completely different from the other place, I'll tell you that Regina, much. those are things people already know but just by watching his videos. I know, you said less private. Yeah, okay, but maybe something a little more private than that then. Fine, I didn't want to have to talk about this one, but... When he moves, something else changed as well. Okay. And I know for a fact that nobody knows about this except for his closest friends, but when he moved, he also got a new address. And that address is <laughs> Oh, okay, you know what, just forget it, all right? What? We can't use any of that. Well, then what do you want me to say? Those are the biggest, juiciest secrets I have about him. What, do you want me talking about the boring ones? Like the fact that he's only 5'8", even though he claims he's 5'9", or that he got a piano in his house, even though he doesn't know how to play it? Or how about the fact that he has a big drinking problem and nobody really knows about it except for his closest friends? Wait, 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 hold on. Back up. What? What do you want me to do? Back up or hold wait, on? You just said Ryan has a big drinking problem. Uh, yeah, why? How sure are you that that's completely true? Yeah, because that's a really big accusation to make, Ew, so we gotta make sure- who are you? Get out of my face! I don't want to see you again! Turn it up! Either way! Up! Getting back to what you were talking about, you were saying he actually does have a very big drinking problem. Yes! How many times do I have to tell you guys he has a big drinking problem, okay? I've seen it with my own eyes and ears. That's, that's very big, yeah. Why else do you think he has all those wet spots on his shirt? And why I don't like to wear socks to his house anymore because every time I go there, there's little puddles all over the place and I like to step in it and it gets all wet and my socks get all wet. wet and go, wait, wait, what does that have to do with his drinking problem? Because he's always spilling. What are you, stupid? Like, I don't know what his problem is, but it's not that hard to drink things. I've been doing that since I was like five years old. So that's what you meant when you said he has a big drinking problem. That he spills a little. Oh my god, yes! How many times I gotta tell you the same thing? I don't wanna talk to you anymore, you're gonna make me repeat myself, I don't wanna talk to you anymore! Wow. Um, right? I cannot believe we have so much good stuff already. Dude, this documentary, 100% going viral. We might, we might even be on drama alert. <laughs> uh, this one right here? Yeah, I think this is good. Yeah, this is good. All right, thank you. I'm pretty sure this is the right spot. Um, <clears throat> oh, you know what? Actually, one more thing before we actually get in there. Okay. I told him I was only bringing my film crew. Um, so do not okay. let him know what you actually do because we don't want him to become defensive. Right, okay. Kind of pulls no, off. Makes, yeah, right. makes total yeah. So sense. If, if he asks, okay. just tell him like you're, you're my assistant or make something up. Whatever you do, just do not let him know okay. that you're actually a colonial psycho, psycho, psychiatrist. Clinical psychologist. Clinical psychologist. Clinical psychologist. Psycho psychologist. Psycho that's, that's hey guys. Hey, Ryan. Um, good to finally meet you in person. Good to meet you as well, man. <laughs> oh, and this is my good friend, Matt. He is a clinical psycho. Psych. patient. Um, okay, um, cool. Well, do you guys want to head in there and get this thing started? You know what? We'll meet you in there because we're actually going to go move the car real quick because we parked in the sun, right? And, uh, it's, we don't know how long this interview is going to take and, you know, we don't want the ride home to be all hot, you know, so we're going to go do that. We'll meet you. I thought you guys said you Ubered here. Yep. Okay, well, um, take your guys' time. I mean, I will be in there and I'll see you in there whenever you're ready. Sounds good. <laughs> Sir, what are you doing? Oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, look at this. Look. What? I literally just got chills. What are you just talking got about? Chills. You don't have goosebumps or anything to indicate you have chills. Oh, okay, you know what? You can't see a feeling, but did you see what I just felt just now when I saw what I felt? What does that even mean? <sighs> I think we're dealing with something a lot worse than what we thought. 
Okay, we literally just met him and he seems completely normal to me. Okay, you don't think it's weird that he just snuck up on us? Almost as if he was planning for us to be right in this spot. No, we told him we were gonna be here at a specific time and we did just that, so no, it's completely okay, normal. Okay, well, what about the aggressive behavior, the way he just shoved his hand out at us, show like, oh, I'm the dominant. He shook your hand, he shook your hand, that's completely normal. I'm getting chills again. Just thinking about his face, did you not see the way he smells like a psychotic person? His mouth gets all wider, his eyes are squinty, okay, and- no, no, just stop, okay? I know you want this documentary to be all entertaining and dramatic, but you can't fake it, okay? You can't. All that's happened so far is we've shown up at a specific time, which we gave him, we met him, you shook his hand, and that's it. And by the way, if you think his face is suspicious, that means your face is suspicious, because guess what? You've got the same face! Same face! Wow. That is the most racist thing I've heard all week. What? I... No, Very I, disappointed. Okay, that's not how I meant it in any way. Seriously, man? It's 2019. Grow up. No, it's not. So, I was thinking we could do the interview here, if that's good for you guys. Yeah. That's, um, that looks great. I think we, well, there's, we should take this couch because it's uh, Can I get you guys something to drink? Water, Red Bull? Uh, yeah, I'll have a water, please. Thank you. Sure. Rain? I'll take a V8 splash. I don't think I have that. Oh, okay then, I'm, I'm good, thanks. Okay. So what kind of person doesn't have V8 Splash in their fridge? The normal kind? Well, I think it's pretty normal to have V8 Splash, like pretty stocked up. And nobody you know. drinks V8 Splash, literally nobody. Well, maybe they would, you know, if this was like, if they wanted to be like a sponsor for this documentary, you know what I'm saying? V8 Splash? Yeah. Are you trying to wink? I'm trying to get a sponsor. Thank you. Thank you. Here you go. Thank you. All right. So, um, how do we start this off? Do you want me to introduce myself, uh, or no. don't even think of it like that? This is just going to be a very casual, normal conversation, just between friends. Think of it like uh, just hanging out. Okay. Cool. Um, so, first off, I guess, uh, is there any history of mental illness in your family? I'm sorry. Mental illness, like any crazies in the family, like I don't know, your parents, you, brother, sister, cousins, you, I don't know. Not that I'm aware of, no. No. Huh? How interesting. What's that supposed to mean? I'm sorry. Um, Ryan, would you mind giving me a moment with Rain, please? Sure. Why? What are you doing? What? Who starts off a conversation asking mm. about mental illness? Well, how would you have started it then? I don't know. Talk about the weather. Talk about your favorite the color. Who what? cares about the weather? Okay, I thought we were here to find out if he was one of those like crazy so so sociopath. So sociopath? So so sociopath. Whatever. Sociopath, okay? Yes. And I'm not going to be able to evaluate him if he's uncomfortable and he doesn't open up to us. Do you understand that? <clears throat> so you got a pretty nice house. Thanks, man. Fine, yes, he does seem a little uncomfortable. Yeah, I think so. So, you know, maybe just chill out with the questions a little bit. You're right, fine, you're right, you're right. I will, I will chill. At the very least, bring it up a little bit more casually. Fine, okay, I will, if it comes up, I'm gonna run with it though. Okay, that's it, that's exactly okay. it. And I got it, Okay. I got it. Okay, we're good, yes. yes. We're okay. good, here, yes, got okay. It. Oh. Let's just, come on, let's just do this. So sorry about that. <laughs> oh, no problem. Uh, you guys good? We're good. We are good. Um, okay. Speaking of good though, the weather has been quite good, wouldn't you guys say? I mean, for me personally, it's been a little cold, but I guess if you're into 40 degree temperatures, yeah, it's been kind of nice. That's <laughs> <laughs> funny. Uh, speaking of cold though, have you guys ever been to the grocery store? Now that place is freezing, let me tell you. God. I mean, it definitely can be sometimes. It's such a weird place, the grocery store, don't you think? Like, why do they still have a magazine aisle, right? What is this, 2015? Do people really need magazines? Like, let alone a new issue every single month, right? What, what, are, you, what are you doing? What are you doing? Like, what do they do with the old issues when the new ones come out? What, what do they do with all those? I'm sorry, is this like some kind of comedy bit you're working on? No, or? no, just casual conversation. You know, I just, you guys never wondered what happens to the old issues when the new ones come out? Um, no, I, I can't say that I have. I'd imagine they recycle them. Oh. Well, um, I guess since we are on the topic of both old and new issues, what are yours exactly? What? Okay, seriously, you need to stop. What? It came up naturally this time. Okay, I don't even know if the rest of this interview is even salvageable at this point, but if you want to grab anything else at all, you let me do the rest of the talking. Understand? Fine. 
fine. But all I'm trying to do is warn you, okay? He, he really knows how to steer a conversation. Is that, is that a gas stove? Or is that electric? It's, um, pretty sure it's gas, yeah. He is incredibly manipulative, and when I look into his eyes, yeah. I see this darkness, you know the part that's supposed to be colored? In the middle, there's this little circle of darkness. That's just his eyes. That's how eyes are shaped no, and it's colorized. Yeah. I, I think he's one of those things. What things? I think he's anemic. That's really, not what that It means. is exactly what that, what that It means. is what it yeah. See, he already got to your head. I think that's what happened. Let me do I have to go pee, too. Number one. You're in the bathroom, so. Be real. Hey, but hey, are, are you gonna wait for me? You're gonna okay. I'll be re number one. That's it. Sorry about that again. Yeah, we had some camera issues to work out, and you know it was just getting really messed up. And look, could... guys, I know what's going on. Okay, you guys don't have to be so sneaky about it. Like I will be completely honest and answer all your questions as long as you guys do the same for me. Because if not, why are we doing this, right? There's no point. That sounds fair to me. Totally, um, but we were being honest. There really was a problem with the cameras that we had to fix. Right. The, well, this right. like weird error message popped up on the uh, viewfinder screen on the cameras saying that the lens aperture, lens aperture was corrupted by the shutter speed exposure on the memory card white balance ISO. Okay, that's not even remotely true. There were no camera issues. No, it really said that the lens you aperture corrupt corrupted. lens aperture. Well, then why did it pop up on the screen? I, oh my God. Look, I am so sorry, okay? You know what, guys, let's just, I think we should stop while we're ahead, okay? What, if what? you want us to leave, I completely understand. I think we should go. No, actually, what you, you know what, no, no, hold on, hold on. I'm actually really curious now. Um, Rain, can I ask you a question? Okay. Um, why are you here? What? Why, I mean, to do this documentary, <laughs> what? No, 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 Rain. Why are you really here? Why am I? I just told you to do the document, to interview you Rain, for the documentary. Rain, why are you here? Like, why am I, what do you mean? Like, do, why am I, like, physically right here? Or like, why am I doing this documentary in the first place? <laughs> um, you know, I don't normally. Rain, I, I'm not. Why? What do you, are I don't, you what, what? Just tell me why you're here. Right? <laughs> it's just, um. Just tell me why you're here. I, you know, the Shane stuff really seemed to. What brings you here? Um. I'm only here because I feel broken, okay? Is that what you want to hear me say? Fine, I'm saying it, I feel broken. I'm broken. I mean, I mean I've been doing this for over 12 years, you know? It's a long time. It really is. Um, and I know I don't normally, you know, jump on trends and just do things because it, it works, um, but you know, I'm just so, I'm just so tired. You know, so tired. You're tired. And so you compromised your own values and basically made a subpar documentary, piggybacking off the success of Shane Dawson's series just because you thought it would be easy views. But documentaries only succeed when people know they're real. And now you're realizing that you haven't been real for a very long time, have you? I, I, I don't know, I mean, I, I don't know. Um, but you do, because you're finally looking at yourself and seeing the real you. The you that was hiding behind all the other personas you've created over the years to hide behind. Personas? Like, what, what are you even... I don't know what you're talking about. I think maybe we should take a little break right now. This is a good spot. See, there's the happy, funny version of you that uses comedy as a defense mechanism to show that nothing really affects you. Then there's the most normal persona, the one that you use to show that everything is just fine in your life, despite everything going on in your head. There's the silly, obnoxious one, the one that thinks they're smarter than everyone, oblivious to the fact that everyone sees right through them and how incredibly dumb they really are. And there's just so many others that people don't really see or know about, but you've created all of them for the exact same purpose, to hide and protect the real one, the broken one, the one that nobody really knows or gets to see, including you. Because in order to see him, you have to really look at yourself. And you were always just so afraid to do that. Now weren't you, Rain? Or should I say, Ryan? <gasps> this whole time. Okay, you know, all you've done 
is change your hair. That's literally all you've done is put your bangs down over your forehead. No, I'm Nothing's Ryan. changed. You know what? I'm Ryan. I'm, I'm finished. <laughs> this was supposed to be a documentary, okay? Not some sort of ridiculous drama. It's not a drama. Really? <laughs> oh, it's not a drama. Well, whatever it is, it doesn't make any sense at all. I mean, who are you right now? Are you Rain? Are you Ryan? And if so, are you still Ryan? Yeah. That makes zero sense. That makes no sense. You said you wanted to see inside the mind of Ryan Higo. Nobody said that place made any sense. What? No, I didn't want to do any of this. This is all stupid, okay? This was his idea, Reigns or Ryan, whatever. The point is, wasn't my idea. I wanted no part of this. And who do you think you are exactly? What? Yeah. Who do you think you are? You know what? This is stupid. I'm done. Stop. Cut cameras. I'm done with this, okay? I'm done with this nonsense. We're doing not doing this anymore, okay? Nonsense. I'm gone. Didn't I already tell you that you're inside the mind of Ryan Higa? Nonsense is sense. No, he. he Okay, that makes no sense, and he told me that. Don't you get it yet, Matt? We're all Ryan. Me, Rain, Regina, the Uber driver, the cameraman, the sound guy. What makes you think you're so special? What makes you think you're not Ryan as well? Because it's obvious, you guys look the same. I don't. That would be the second most racist thing I've heard all week, if it wasn't coming from myself. Oh. Sometimes personas look different, but like I said, they're all created for the same purpose. Okay. Okay, well uh, tell me, uh, if I'm a persona of Ryan and you've named every persona of Ryan that exists, tell me, which persona am I? Why don't you take a look right there and find out for yourself. Oh my god. No, 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 this doesn't, why am I, what? This doesn't make any sense. You're the persona with the drinking problem. What? No, no, no. No, no, this doesn't make any sense! Like I said, that's because you're in the mind of- Ryan Higa, I know! Stop saying that! Then why are you here? Uh, Tell us, why are you here, Ryan? Uh, why are you here? Uh, Ryan, why, why are you here? Tell us why you're here. Why are you here? Why are you here, Ryan? Uh, what brings you here, Ryan? Why are you here, Ryan? All right, patient 069, Ryan Higa. Time is 8.45 a.m. Introductory session begins now. All right, Ryan, why don't we start off by you telling me why are you here? Okay. Um, well, I, I tend to spill a lot when I drink things and I kind of always just uh, wonder. Oh, like, sorry, one second. Camera is kind of malfunctioning. Lens aperture is corrupt as the... Oh, come on again? <laughs> Hello? 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 Is anyone here? Anyone here? 